In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to add texture and dimension to your vector drawing in Adobe Illustrator. I will be using my own brushes called Grains and Stippling, which you can find the link below. But really, you can just use any texture brush you own. The technique is the same. Without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, we have a vector drawing on the left, and eventually, our goal is to reach somewhere here. So I'm going to delete this for now and then just make a copy right now. So select all and hold option key while holding shift key to make a duplicate. We can zoom in a little bit. So over here, we have a few vector shapes. First, we have the body of the bottle and we have a label and some words on it. And then we have the dropper and some line on top of that. So let's get started by adding some texture to the label first. I think that's the easiest. So this label is a rectangle. The first thing I'm going to do is to add a stroke of the same color. So I'm going to go to my swatch and add a color that is this bright orange. You might not see the difference immediately because it has the same color. And when you first apply it, you will probably have the most basic shape, um, which is just a straight line. And then you can click on one of those texture brushes. And then Adobe Illustrator might need a few seconds to think about it before it finish processing. Let's see. So now we have a textured outline. Let me just zoom in super close. Depending on your desired results, you can cycle through different density of these brushes in the same set. And you can also increase the stroke width to amplify the texture. So I am going to pick something like this and make it maybe seven point whoa it's a little bit big so let's see maybe three point will do and let's zoom back out so this is a really cute texture but also we have a problem because our outline is exceeding the bounds of the bottle it doesn't look natural so i'm going to use a clipping mask what i'm going to do is to tap on the bottle the body of the bottle and hit command C and command F to create a duplicate and then arrange this layer all the way to the top. So hold command shift right bracket. If you miss the shortcut, you can just right click, arrange, and then bring to front. So in that way, we will have the bottle all the way up. So this will serve as um, definition bound for our label. So I'm going to select this and the label simultaneously and press command seven. In that way, we will have a um, pretty clean label on the left. And then I want to send this layer back so we can still see the scribbles on top of the label. So command left. There you go. And similarly, we can apply the stroke to our scribbles. So I'm just going to test out a different width. Maybe increase the weight. So this is a two point. Depending on how big is your vector, you might have to change to a different point, different weight. Um, I am currently using two point. If your graphic is super big, your weight of the stroke might be very big as well. So that's here. And then similarly, I want to make these lines a little more fluffy by applying those brushes. This looks good. Okay, I'm going to go back. So right now you can already see the difference between left and right. I'm going to add a few more touches. The first thing I'm going to do is to add some shadow. 
So let me just choose a different shade of pink. And I'm going to go a little bit darker. And then I will apply the brush to the pink. And this time I want the dots to be not very dense. And then I'm going to increase the weight. Maybe even try 10. And then, okay, this looks good. Very similar to how we have um, applied the clipping mask. I'm going to make a new clipping mask. So Command C, Command F, and then arrange it all the way to the top. So it's Command Shift, right bracket. And then while it's still selected, I will select my stroke and then Command 7 to make a clipping mask. And I also put my dropper all the way to the top so it looks natural and then for the next step whoops and then for the next step I am going to create a shadow along the shape of the body so I'm going to use the pencil tool for that so press in on your keyboard and choose a stroke color I'm gonna go with blue and then no fill color because I only need a stroke. And then I'm just gonna draw along the body of the bottle. So right now the weight of my stroke is 20. I'm just gonna tap on one of the texture brushes and sometime it will bounce back to one after you select the brush. So I'm gonna go back to 20 and it looks like it's a little more intense than I want it. So let's try 16 and then from here you just have to um, tweak to see um, what is your style. So I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply so the color can interact with the colors underneath. And then I will make a clipping mask. Actually before that I'm going to make a highlight as well. So I will use pencil tool but with the white stroke and then just draw a super quick highlight just a, a section of a curve and let's try 16 it's a little too intense 10 I didn't really see a difference so I'm gonna try even smaller okay this is better so i'm gonna um change the opacity of the highlight to something that is more subtle and now i'm ready to make my clipping mask if your highlight goes outside of the let's say if your highlight goes outside of the bounds of the bottle you can just make one clipping mask for both highlights and the shadow so command c command f send it all the way to the back select your highlights and your shadow command seven there you go and then you want to rearrange the dropper all the way to the top whoops make sure the highlights the ridges are selected as well So this is pretty much the body of the dropper. And then for the next step, I'm going to add a few more details to accentuate our vector drawing. So I'm going to create a shadow behind the bottle. So just draw a straight line and then pick a color. Maybe this yellow. Like what we have done before, I'm going to make this line really fluffy so right now obviously it looks very straight because it's a straight line and if you want to add a bit of volume you can actually use your oval for this purpose so just using the eyedropper tool right now to sample this so let me just swap this 
and send it all the way to the back. So this one looks more like a fancy shadow. There you go. It can be very fun to add little texture in the background. Um, for example, you can use your spiral tool and just, um, I'm using up and down arrow to control um, how dense I want this spiral to be. And then you can choose one of those um, brushes in the set and change the weight until you have a very cute pom pom. Let's see. Yay. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next video.